to win an amazing smart home starter pack. I call it a smart home starter pack, which you'll be able to either for yourself or for your loved one. I'm going to show you. So this is the astute range. Um, I'm not alone on this live. I'm going to be joined by one of the CBI executives, um, who is Dr. Andrew. I'm going to invite him just shortly. Uh, so let me show you what you stand a chance to win. So this is amazing. So you stand a chance to win. So this is the isolator. I know you know uh, a normal isolator. So this is a smart isolator. So this is something that you can use for your geezer, for your stove. So this is perfect. You stand a chance to win that. And you also stand a chance to win a smart plug. So this is all inclusive in the hamper, but the trick is you have to stay until the end of the live so that you can hear the question which has been um, asked. So this is the S2 Smart Plug. So this is what you also stand a chance to win. You also stand a chance to win this amazing, this is the S2 Smart Controller. So this is a perfect one. You can integrate this either on your, um, D this is integrated on your DB board for either your geezer, your lights or your uh, pool pump. So that's an amazing integration. So we have a few house rules. So we're gonna have a basic house rules. I'm gonna announce the competition details at the end of the series. They should not take be long. We'll be talking about the myth that um, you know, as society, there's a lot of myth when it comes to and misconceptions when it comes to uh, smart homes. People have said that most people say that it's expensive. Most people assume that, you know, it's not affordable. But today we'll be, you know, digging deep into that. We have an expert who will be able to share with us information regarding that. And don't don't feel uh, shy to tap the screen so that this can be shared with a lot of people who also find this useful as well. Um, I'm going to invite my guest. So basically, just to recap, we're going to talk about the misconceptions. We're going to talk about all the fears that you may have before you buy a smart home. So in terms of smart home integration, I showed you the smart home integration for uh, the CBI uh, Street range, which is something that we're really going to focus on. Uh, I'm going to also put the topic here on, also put the topic here on, so Hello, Dr. Andrew, can you hear me? Indeed, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 I can hear you perfectly. Please let me know if the sound is good. And also, I'm afraid I was lagging a bit. Are no you able worries, to hear me I, can, I am able to hear you proper oh, and uh, good and live now. I don't know, do you have okay, an image perfect. of me? Oh, uh, not as yet. <laughs> not as yet, Dr. Andrew. Uh, let me see if I'm able to see you on here. There we go. I'm not, yes, perfect, yes. Um, just to start off the conversation, I want us to just um, have a bit of an understanding on exactly, you know, especially in South Africa, we have a lot of issues when, uh, I think fears, if I can call it that, there's a lot of fears from people where they're afraid to, explore the world of smart tech because of the reason that they they think it's either expensive or they don't know much information about that so dr andrew um please can you just explain to us and uh, apologies for this i even forgot to introduce you uh so this is dr andrew he is our cbi expert he's an engineering expert he is part of the cbi team um he's part of the guys with the brains behind the product so um he will be also sharing with us more information about the back end information Information of what really happens with the integration of the CBI as should range. So apologies for not giving you your flowers, Dr. Andrew. Apologies oh, for that. Good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you. And I appreciate yeah. the uh, introduction and it's great to be here. Oh, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, just to start off, uh, when we talk about the mis let's talk about South Africa as a general. Let's talk about the misconceptions that we we hold as individuals and households where we are afraid to take a leap of faith when it comes to um, smart home integrations. Um, the first integration that I actually want us to address is, you please explain to us uh, this misconception. Is this really true? How true is this misconception when it comes to that smart homes are not compatible with uh, the power cuts, especially here in South Africa, we have a lot of power cuts. So please just explain to us um, in detail that what, what's your view on when people think that smart homes are not inter compatible with uh, the power cuts or load shedding, if I can call it that? Absolutely. So it is a misconception. Yeah. <clears throat> they actually serve a lot of benefit during uh, power cuts. 
But okay. uh, let me break down two scenarios for you um, to give people an understanding of how they will benefit. So on the okay. one side, obviously, when the power goes out, everything goes out. So yeah. it doesn't matter. And the, the thought is, well, I'm not going to be interacting with my system because I don't need it to do anything because I've got no power during that time. Yeah. But when the power returns, <clears throat> what happens is because of the switching at the substations, you get a lot of loads going off the grid and a lot of loads going onto the grid. And what that does is it creates these voltage spikes which go through the system. And yeah. so smart devices are very useful because they can sense what's going on in the network uh, before such time as you actually power up your entire home. So yeah. it provides you with a another level of security and ensuring that you can um, ensuring that you can get um, the devices protected as such. So the spike comes down, your device, your smart device is turned on. And what happens is instead yes. of turning on your fridge, your lights, your any electronics that you are sensitive to these spikes, the smart device can hold off the power delivery to those devices until the grid is stabilized. And usually that's anything between sort of let's call it 30 seconds to about two minutes, depending on your environment, yeah. depending on what the network's doing. So those smart devices can, in fact, protect uh, appliances within your installation. <clears throat> then on the other side of it, of course, is that everyone's looking for an alternative. And, and yes, yeah. we've been without load shedding now for, I think I heard a report the other day that it's now 150 days that we've been without it. But yeah. we hear this word load curtailment. And everyone goes, well, what's that? And yeah. that is about um, protecting the infrastructure which provides power to people's homes. Now, I don't believe that that's going to stop anytime soon. So people are still going to look for alternatives, solar, batteries, etc., like that. And the advantage on that side with uh, smart devices is that it enables you to select which appliances should be getting powered when so that you yeah. can correctly size that alternative uh, power source to what you want to run in your home. So you, you get on the one side, you get this protection element. On the other side, you get this control element. And those two work very nicely with load shedding. So no, it's a misconception. They work yeah. just as well in load shedding, actually, I think even better than if the power was stable all the time. Oh, that's amazing. Just to integrate on that, um, most thing, most people have this fear that if I have a smart home and then my power comes back on, um, you know, there's an instance where it might fuse or stop working. Is that the case? Just to integrate, you know, uh, from the first question. <clears throat> no, not at all. So mm -hmm. each of these devices um, on a pure electronics level have protection built into them. So they are designed to be at your point of use, so your plugs, the, the ASP and the ASI are within your distribution network at home. And on the other side yeah. of it, you have the ASC, which typically goes in a distribution board. So these are designed to handle the surges that come through, that handle the spikes. Um, so no, that's not going to happen, right? They are electronics. They may be susceptible mm -hmm. over time, but that could be the same thing that, that you would say about your fridge or your, or your TV. Yeah. So and in all honesty, the astute controllers are a lot cheaper than a fridge or a TV. So yeah. rather, <laughs> let them take the brunt, let them do the work. And then, you know, in time, and I'm talking years, you would eventually maybe have to replace it. But no, yeah. on every event, it's not going to happen. You know, as you spoke about the astute controller and also the astute ring, I just want to show the audience what he's exactly talking about. So this is uh the s2 uh, cbi electric s2 smart controller so this is what he is actually talking about this baby here does wonders trust me this does wonders all you need to do is to plug and play this onto your dd board and you're able to control many different things you're able to control either your um your lights your pull pump or either also i also personally use it for my geezer system as well um i've also shared my experience based on you know the different uh, automations that you're able to do for your giza so this baby here just look at it take a screenshot of this and this is something that you really need to also integrate and i always say this makes an, a perfect gift um especially during the holiday season this will be an amazing perfect gift for your loved one so just take a screenshot of this and then um the amazing part is that you do stand a chance to win 
an amazing hamper. Right at the end, I'm going to give you a question which you'll be able to share um, and send me quick answers to that um, uh, question. So it's an amazing opportunity to stand a chance to win an amazing hamper that you can use for yourself or also for your loved ones. So do stick around until the end. So I'll only share with the, the giveaway details until the end of this. And coming back to the misconceptions, Dr. Andrew, let's talk about, you know, we're in the era, uh, we call it the Gen Z era, where we are able to use smartphones um, and also integrate a lot of things. Most of the things that we use are very technical. And, um, you know, when we talk about smart tech, I want to just, I want us to dive deep into that. How complicated, do I need to be a tech guru to be able to understand um, how to use smart home systems like this so this is a, a picture of a smart plug so this is a cb electric s2 smart plug so do i need to in order to use the app and also the, the whole integration do i need to be a tech uh, uh, guru to be able to use those integrations simple answer is absolutely not so okay. we have done a lot of hard work in the background um, to make sure that it is as seamless and easy as dialing a number on your cell phone so yeah. with the uh, devices themselves, when you install them, they've got a full instruction manual there if you need it, but invariably it's installed by a qualified electrician. But your ability then to interact with it is straightforward. If you can press a button, you can connect it. And then on the yeah. app side of things, that app is, we've tried to make it as intuitive as possible. So the ability to recognize a device, to, uh, to put a device onto your, onto your app or into your app, the ability to go into it and just start with basic control, turning on, turning off, setting timers is as simple as getting on TikTok. So it's straightforward. It's, it's not difficult. And even those people who, you know, I, I kind of feel it. And, and, and if I look at my parents, my parents are in their 80s. Yeah. But they can operate WhatsApp, they can operate a smartphone, yeah. they can go on to Google, they can find what they need to do. If you can do that, yeah. you can run a smart home. That's, that's amazing. Is, that's straightforward. No, that's amazing. So in terms of, you know, I actually want to integrate something while we talk about that, you know, even someone who's over the age of 80, I love the convenience of that, that in an event, let's say, for example, um, I, I integrate a system for someone in the village and they are too old to use the system. The amazing part is that I can literally use it with my phone. If I'm doing it for my mother, who's 500 kilometers away, she can just drop me a message and say, please, can you switch off my geezer or switch on my geezer? You know, it's that sort of integration if someone is not able. So if I can... Um, because um, if I'm not able to integrate it with my on myself on my own cell phone, you are able to you know uh, assist your elderly if I can call it that. So this is actually a perfect integration. Just to add on what Dr. Andrew said, it's a perfect integration for not only for the younger generation. This is perfect for the older generation because we don't want our parents waking up. Um, you know, in the middle of the night to switch on their geezers, to switch on their lights. That's something that we need to, you know, start looking into because the way things are advancing in the world, um, for just to integrate what he's saying, the, uh, the smart controller, so this is the smart controller. So basically with a smart controller, if you're gonna use it all, you can either use also the isolator, if in an instance you wanna work on a Giza setting. So if you're gonna integrate this as a Giza setting, you are able to control it um, via the app. You can put uh, timers and say, I want my Giza to switch on from 4 a.m. in the morning until 6, uh, 6 a.m. So you're able to have that sort of control, and which is a bonus, and that's something that uh, we need to share that information on. We need to share that. That's a, you can't hide. This is a beautiful product. You cannot hide a beautiful product. You need to share it with your loved ones. If you're not going to use it, share it with someone who will be able to use it. Um, just to move on, Dr. Andrew, um, I want us to talk about you know, we the, the cost of living is very high, and that's something that we, we can't hide. We can't hide. And there's a lot of the bills are, you know, the new tariffs that are happening with the City Power and ESCOM, they've introduced new tariffs uh, for electric, electricity. So I want us to discuss, is this a valid concern when, if I'm saying that, uh, if someone can say, you know, uh, Dr. Andrew, I can't integrate a smart home system because I think it consumes a lot of electricity. Is that a valid concern? 
So it consumes electricity. That yeah. is, it's an electronic device. It's going to do that. But it's not going to consume more than what your installation is doing. And remember, the, the reason for going to a smart home is the ability to control your energy usage. So firstly, to yeah. monitor it, to understand what it is, and then control it. So take a, a, um, a smart plug and put it in the wall, right? And so, yes, it's got yeah. some electronics in, and it, and it will consume a bit of electronics because it's communicating with the web, and you want that convenience. But at the same time, you've got a TV, you've got a PS5, you've got a any number of electronic devices which are connected to that plug and they all st uh, sit in standby power and that standby power is what people get sort of most nervous about because they don't really understand it they want the practical convenience of walking into their home and just turning on the tv but yeah. there's a consumption behind that so if i can take that away and put it into one single device that's say in your plug and you can turn off everything else to make sure that they're not consuming that power in the background. I'm already saving that power. So yes, my device will consume a little bit of power, but for everything else that's now off, you're saving that, that electricity consumption. So it, it's a myth that yeah. it's going to consume a lot, of, a lot of power or a lot of electricity and therefore cost you more. Ultimately, it's there to provide the convenience, but it will save you money. Oh, sorry about that. I just want to cut off the background noise. Um, with being that the integration, if you integrate a smart home tech, it does because it's, an, it's a tech technology unit. It is able to uh, consume some portion of electricity. I want us to dive deep into in, in, in the course of how do I save electricity? You know, I'm able to manage my day-to-day -day, um, electricity when I'm using the smart um, plugs. And before you answer that, Dr. Andrew, for those who recently joined us, we are talking about smart home integration and smart home system. And this is uh, in partnership with CBR Electric. And you do stand a chance to win an amazing hamper. This is something that is worth getting. So the trick is if you stick around until the end of the live, I will be able to share with you the terms and the condition of the giveaway. That is how you'll be able to stand a chance to win this amazing hamper. So um, just to share with you, so this is the view, this is the CB Electric Smart Plug. This is how it looks like. If you need to take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. This is how the S2 Smart Plug looks like. So, and then this is the S2 Smart Isolator. This is how it looks like. So these are all the things that you do stand a chance to win. This is the S2 Smart Isolator. And also lastly, one of my favorite one, this is the Estrus Smart Controller. So this one here does wonders. I know I'm not supposed to have favorites, but this is actually one of my favorite units um, uh, so far. So you do stand a chance to win one of those amazing hampers. And I will share with you the terms and conditions of this amazing giveaway. And Dr. Andrew, back to your question. Uh, in terms of, um, before you answer that, I want us to just, I want to integrate something before you answer that. I'm going to just ask you that right at the end. I want to talk about, I wanted to just have a chat about the maintenance behind smart homes. Because yes, I have the smart home system installed. What are the, what are the things that I need to be aware of? Because I know most people are afraid to integrate smart homes in, uh, uh, in their everyday lives because they're worried about the, smart, the, the maintenance and also the month, not monthly updates, but the constant updates. What is it that I need to know of if I'm integrating a smart home system like the CBI Electric um, Street range? What maintenance things do I need to be aware of? So for the most part, it's a install and you can pretty much leave it to do its own thing. So yes. there's not on a lot of ongoing maintenance. The products themselves have limited uh, firmware on them. So they sit and they do exactly what the app tells them to do. Yeah. And like every single other app that you have on your device, they will go through periodic updates, but your history, your settings, your definitions will all stay in place. So you don't have to worry about that. The, the bigger thing is more how you evolve your system to make your ease of, of use. And of course, the system tells you everything. So you can set up notifications with it. You can identify things that you want to keep track of. So like in my case, my pool pump, I want to know whether the pool, the creepy crawly is on the bottom of the pool, sucking water and the dirt up, or whether it's gone belly up on the surface because it's, I don't know, 
but it's sucking air. And so I've got mine set up in such a way that when the power consumption goes down, it means it's sucking air. What I tell it to do and do is turn off, let it sink down to the bottom of the pool and then turn back on. So it's, it's those sort of things and little tricks that become very useful, but it's after you've set it up. But once it's set up, you can say, listen, uh, tell me if you see an anomalous voltage and so that it will send you a message and you can do something about it. But for the rest yeah. of the time, once it's installed, it's in place and you don't have to worry about it. And it has a memory behind it as well, which is part of the app integration. So if let's call it, you have uh, five lights on and uh, I don't know, your hi-fi on or something, and you can set it to either go back to its, uh, remember its state, or at the same time, um, change its state after the power returns. So particularly for load shedding, et cetera, you know, you want to go to bed, you don't want all the lights to come back on and you can yeah. set that up in such a way. But at the same time, you may, if like we had load shedding between six and eight in the evening at eight o'clock, you want your lights to come back on. And so it will remember your state. And that's again, a, a convenience behind the app and the integration into the hardware. Oh, that's perfect. Just to add on to that, um, I see, I saw a question that really is uh, sparking a bit of interest while we're talking on that topic. Uh, Frontina is actually asking, you know, does the CBI Institute app, does, is, does it handle multiple users and also access control? Um, let's say um, I have my S2 Smart Isolator on, on the app. Does it handle um, multiple users and also access control? So I'm not sure what the access control is. I mean, that's that's up to you, usually your device that you have. So when you've got your... different, I think maybe she meant like different profiles. So if I'm able to integrate this for my mother, um, so I think that's basically what she means. Yeah. So on on the profile side, I certainly, uh, I mean, you can set up different environments, but mm. the accessibility within that environment, and particularly when I, when you look at the elderly. You know, you can set up their devices and say to them, listen, don't even touch the app. You know, you don't need to open it. It's it's I've set you up. And if you yeah. if you have a problem, call me. But it's back to what yeah. you were saying earlier is the nice thing is you can share different locations um, systems so that you've got control over, say, your parents installation or a siblings or, or whatever it may be that you can then go in and help them out if if something should go wrong or if they are uncertain about something. And then at the same time, um, multiple people in the same household can be on the same thing. So my wife and I are on the same same group. And so whether it's me controlling it or her controlling it, we've both got access for our smartphones. So oh, yes, that, so that ability to share is is there. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, please do leave your comments and also your questions down in the comment section. We are talking about everything smart homes and also smart home integration. Uh, we are being joined by Dr. Andrew, who is an engineering expert, who is helping us, you know, have a better understanding on the things that we need to know. This is general knowledge. This is things that we need to be afforded an opportunity to know when it comes to smart home integration. Um, the amazing part is that you do stand a chance to win an amazing hamper, which is an, a bonus. Trust me, this the gift that you're going to receive is amazing. This is an amazing gift. So do stick around until the end so that I can share with you the terms and conditions of this amazing giveaway. And uh, back to the discussion, Dr. Andrew, I want us to talk, let's talk about the cost. You know, things are expensive and we can't, um, you know, shy away from that. And I think we're living in an environment where we've been told that if you have a smart home, you either uh, having, uh, uh, you know, either staying in Clifton or, you know, in Center. So people have that sort of misconception that, no, you know, the having a smart home, it's either, you know, it's really expensive to maintain and also expensive um, to, to install. So that's what people assume. So is this really the case when it comes to, you know, uh, are smart homes expensive to implement, especially in the South African setting? So from my perspective, no, it's not. Um, yeah. Again, a lot of people's exposure to such smart devices, to the IoT devices, generally comes from work. So whether you're in the commercial space or the industrial space, you've had some sort of exposure and usually those are energy management systems. So these are sort of large size computers with uh, a countless number of devices and those kind of setups are expensive. 
but they're also designed to save a lot of energy. All right, so your payback on that is the, the relative scale is, is, is almost linear, I would say, on that. With respect to the home, you don't need an energy management system. You just need to take more control of what you're doing. So on the, on the side of a, of a house, you can say, well, what uses most of my energy? It's, it's my geyser, it's my pool pump. Um, those are the two really big ones. And then some of your appliances, like your, your washing machine or a tumble dryer or any of those, then begin to consume a, a fair amount of power. And you can start small. I mean, yeah. you can honestly start by just putting in an astute controller into your DB board to control one thing. And that in itself will save you money over time, assuming that you actually utilize the capabilities. So the ability yeah. to switch off, you know, like a geezer, a geezer doesn't have to be on all the time, but many people leave it on because they're uncertain. They've been told that on the one side, if I turn it off, um, I don't save any energy. So you might as well leave it on because it, it sort of cools down and then heats up and cools down. But ultimately at the end of the day, if it's running the whole time like that, you are going to lose out. Right, and the ability to turn on the geyser for when you need it, to heat up the water, to get it up to temperature, to have your shower, to have your bath, and then to turn it off and leave it off for another 10 or 12 hours and then do the same thing, is going to prevent your element from going on. It's going to save you rands and cents. And as you said earlier, you know, uh, I mean, what was the last heading that I saw in the, in, in the press? Nursa wanted a 44% tariff increase or Eskom wants a 44%? And you're going, yeah. 44%? Um, I'm sorry, what? Well, yeah. you know, as the consumer, we don't want that. We can't afford it anymore. So yeah. yes, you can start at the bottom and, and yes, you start with one device, you go to the next device and eventually you'll have 10 or 15 devices installed, but you don't have to start there. You can start with one and two. So it's not expensive to start off. Well, that's just to add on to that. Thank you so much, Dr. Angel, just to add on to, I want to just give you a bit of a price breakdown. Um, so just to integrate um, so you have an understanding on when we say that it's not expensive. So for for a product like this, if you were to get something like this, you do it's it would give you a lot of peace of mind. Um, it would give you a lot of peace of mind. Trust me, you don't have to be waking up and you know switching on things, and you know it will save relationships. I know uh, in most households it's a competition that oh no today it's your turn to switch off the geezer, it's your turn to switch off the lights, it's your turn to run the the pool pump. But when you have a smart integration like that, I wish I can hold everything in one hand, but um, it's. Let me give you sort of like a price breakdown as we're talking about pricing. You can't spend more than 700 rands on this. And the trick is there's many different distributors who, um, who you'll be able to get this from. The trick is just make sure that you compare your prices. Um, this is uh, within the range of 700 rands and it, it's a lifetime investment. It's a lifetime investment. And that's something that you need to take note of, uh, of as well. And I'm just going to go through a couple of questions. And Dr. Andrew, is there any tips that you can offer the public, the general public, um, when it comes to, you know, I want to start my smart home journey. What can I start off with? I know the CBI Electric Estrid Ring is a perfect starter pack, but um, any tips that you can offer people based on what we have discussed today? So again, to me, look for the... I would say the other way around to what most people will hear is don't necessarily go with the low hanging fruit, go for the big ones. So the yeah. big ones to me is always any big motor. Um, so, or big element that would generally be your geezer. And there you can use, as you said, you can use a, a controller and my geezers yeah. were on a controller, but then I swapped them out to be, uh, use the astute isolator. And that is now being used on my geezers. And then I use the controllers in places like for my pool pump. Um, I use them for, for my lighting. But the big consumption or things that are on for a long time are the, are the devices that you want to hit first. Um, and those can do a lot to bring down your general electricity consumption, which obviously yeah. at the end of the day saves you money. And as, as, Eskom keeps on, on requesting more and more or higher and higher prices, your payback period on, on a device is going to go down to months, let alone years. So yes. that to me is my, my guidance would be to start with the big things. Giza is probably your number one. So if you haven't done your Giza yet, you, that's where you start. 
So with your Giza, you can either go this option or this option. Um, I love this option because this goes directly to your Giza um, uh, system. So if you don't have space on your DB board, you can, if you do have space, you can use uh, this unit here. Or if you don't have space, you can use the smart isolator if you don't have uh, uh, space on your DB board. So this is perfect. And uh, allow me to say, it's always important that when you're installing this beautiful uh, units, have an, an electrician who's certified do that for you, just for safety concerns. I know we are all DIY people, we love DIY, but for the sake of safety and um, uh, your own personal safety as well, when you're installing this, especially this one, because this goes directly to your DB board. Uh, it, you just plug and play, the electricians know what they're doing. You plug this on your DB board and you are good to go. Um, just to share my personal experience as well. I, this, oh, this, this saved my life. You know, I've been using this for more than two years now. And the amazing thing is you don't have to buy everything all at once. You don't have to buy everything all at once. You do it as you can afford. And like as Dr. Andrew said, pick what you need to start off with what is what are your needs what is it that you need uh what your needs are so that's something that that's very important and thank you so much everyone for sticking around i just want to see if um i see most of the questions that i'm having is there anyone with a question before we we wrap this up um i just have few announcements two few announcements that we need to discuss in the next session we're gonna uh, talk about um, we're going to talk about the overall use of, um, you know, smart tech in our everyday life. But the main focus will be the extra smart plug because you know we use smart plugs in our everyday, I mean, plugs in our everyday life. So this is something that you use in your everyday life. And this is something that um, you need to have um, access to. And uh, this is a pre it's not just a plug. Trust me, it's not just a plug. There's amazing features that you can integrate and also many automations that you can do with the S2 Smart Plug. So in the next coming session, we'll be discussing the SCB Electric S2 Smart Plug. So this beautiful unit here and also many others will be you do stand a chance to win an amazing hamper. So this is the favorite part. I think this is the part that everyone has been waiting for, uh, for me to share the amazing details on how you can win this amazing um, hamper and also uh, amazing giveaway by CB Electric. Let's start off. Um, so to stand a chance to win, the first thing, this is how, these are the conditions of the giveaway. Please listen carefully. I'll also post it on the chat as well. Just listen carefully. I've opened up my DMs where my direct messages, where you're able to send me a direct messages. While we're on this live, please send me a message and say, from the live session that we've had, what is one of the myths and also the misconceptions that we've debunked on this evening's uh, conversation? What is it that we've addressed? What are the some of the misconceptions and also the myths that we've debunked th throughout this session? Leave it down in the comment section or you can also, the, the, sorry, I, I made an error there. Don't leave it in the comment section. Just make sure that you send me a direct message with your answer. Make sure that you put your name um, and say, my name is so-and-so and this is my answer. Just repeat the question. It says, what is one of, one of the myths we debunked this evening? So please leave that in the DM message. I've opened up my direct messages as of this hour. So you are able to send me that. So we, the terms and the condition of the giveaway, we are going to announce at the end of the three passes, the, the next coming series is the last one. We'll be able to share with you um, if you have won the hamper or not. Even if you don't win, this is something that you need to invest in. This is, I know winning is an amazing thing to, 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 to do, but this is something that you need to invest in. Just for you to have a final glimpse of exactly what we're talking about when we talk about smart uh, technology. It doesn't have to be expensive. That's something you need to know. When you integrate smart tech, it doesn't have to be uh, expensive. And CBI has done an amazing job where they've, they, they, they're pushing, they, they, they're bringing us into the future. So um, just to have, so that you can understand exactly what you look at. And Dr. Andrew, uh, while I lift up the smart isolator, um, are there any tips in terms of, I know that it's, it's a smart isolator goes directly to your geezer. Uh, if I were to choose, I know I've mentioned this before, if I were to choose between any of the three, what can I start off with? Um, I know you've addressed this question before when you discussed uh, in terms of the, what is your need, but can I, is it safe for, for me to say, can I buy everything all at once? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, so to me, Again, I point you to the geezer and that you can use both the ASC yes. and the ASI. 
either one will work exactly or it will do exactly what you want it to do. Yes. The ASP has its own, uh, let's call it nuances, which I love. And yeah. I think that's something that we're going to get into probably more in the next session. Yes. And just yeah. the, the possibilities of what you can do with the plug and, and how to apply it in your system. Um, but for starting and to get into the smart home environment, I would say go to the ASI or the ASC. Yes, perfect, perfect. That's amazing. And just to add up on that, uh, Dr. Andrew, I just want to see if there's any questions that I've missed up. Just give me a chance before we wrap it up. And thank you sure. so much for your time, Dr. Andrew. And thank you so much for your wisdom and also sharing all this information with us. Uh, just before we wrap up, you are able to purchase all of this at Street Range through your nearest distributor. Uh, please, if you go online and say and type in CBI Estrid Range, you will get a lot of different distributors who are offering all these amazing ranges. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a direct message if you have any questions on exactly what the product does. And also on the CBI uh, um, YouTube channel, there is more information about you know, the tips and tricks on how you can you know, navigate through the system. So this is a perfect gift that you need to buy for your loved ones. And if there's no other questions, let me just go through if there's any other questions. Oh, so someone is actually asking, where can I purchase this? Uh, I just addressed it. I'm sorry about that. I think you probably missed it. Uh, I'm going to ask one of my colleagues who are online uh, to please assist in terms of the list of distributors. But the trick is how I always do it personally. I will type in CBI Street Range. And trust me, a whole lot of uh, distributors will come through. So retailers, you'll be able to see who is closer to you. Um, just at the top of my head, if you're in Carlton Province, there's Vortex, there's uh, Builders Warehouse, there's Leroy Merlin, there's Chamberlain. Uh, who else? Am I for? There's Buco, you can get it at Buco as well. And there's many different, and Techalot also offers as well, which is an online system. You can get it at Techalot, there's Micro as well. So you do find this at many different uh, distributors throughout. Um, so someone is mentioning uh, there's a thing I need to also address as well in terms of uh, that. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted on there. Apologies for that. I think we got everything right. So just to wrap up, um, Dr. Andrew, any final words before we wrap up? I think the whole thing for me is that, yes, people are nervous about these things. Yeah. Um, they're nervous generally because they're uncertain about, um, let's call it, is it safe? Is, is my yeah. environment secure with this on board? And understand that the devices themselves are, use encryption when they're talking to the networks. So yeah. there's no way for someone to use that device as a means to get into your network. Yeah. Um, so don't worry about that. And then again, it's a smart tech, but that's user friendly. So yes. the best thing you can do is dive in, get your product and start off. And once you oh. become familiar with it, it just becomes easier and easier. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just one of, I just want to double check. Um, there's a question here. Someone is asking that the, the plug is not working after a month. There is one of the, I also had an issue with my smart plug. What you need to do is basically to troubleshoot your, um, your, your device. That's actually very helpful. It, it happens um, in an event where once in a while, it doesn't happen as often, where you need to reinstall the app on to, to, re, to remove the device. If it's a smart plug, you need to remove it on your app and then re-add it again. I think that's something that people need to be aware of. There is information on how to troubleshoot your, basically it's like a, a reset. It's like a hard on reset, the same way we reset our cell phones. The, I think your smart plug empty, you probably need to do something like that. Please just let, send me a DM. If the problem persists, I will get you someone to be able to um, assist you with that. Uh, they'll be able to uh, so thank you aleta she, she addressed that there will be someone who will be able to assist you with that when it comes to you know hard resetting your device uh if there's no other questions i'm leaving the floor for one minute i think we have one more minute so that i can just give you an opportunity to uh 
ask your questions. Is there anyone with a question before we can close it up? And just to repeat the question again in terms of your giveaway question, please send me a direct question. And thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the session. I do appreciate that. And here's the question that you need to, uh, the answer that you need to um, answer. What is the name of one of the myths that we, we did four or five myths that we, you know, we addressed, we debunked uh, this evening. Just name one of them. And also remember to make sure your name as well um, on the direct message. I've opened up my DM messages. You're able to send me a private message. Please, please go ahead and do that. And we'll announce the terms and the conditions of the giveaways that we will announce the winner right at the end of the series. So we have one more uh, session coming up in the next coming week where we'll be discussing the CB Electric Exchange plug. So if there's no other questions, please just let me know uh just let me know if there's anyone who doesn't have uh if there's any other question uh anyone from the team is there any question that we have not addressed i think everything has been addressed uh just let me just go through everything just to make sure that everyone is um satisfied and then tando thank you so much for that um uh he, he mentioned that he uh, ordered it online at azul as well thank you very much for that and is there any other questions before we wrap up? Uh, are we good? So thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. And do remember to join and also enter the giveaway. It's an amazing opportunity. And also leave me questions if you have any questions regarding where do I buy this? How do I integrate this? Just let us know. Oh, sorry, someone just came in. Uh, hi, Priska, we are about to leave. Apologies for that. Just, uh, Dr. Andrew, please forgive me to do the last final wrapping up. Let me just show them the products one more time uh, before we can close up. So we're talking about smart home integration and how simple and how complicated people make it to be. So that's something that it doesn't have to be complicated. So we are addressing some of the issues that and some of the questions that you have regarding integrating a smart home. You know, most people assume that is expensive and our expert, Dr. Andrew, was able to address all of these issues with us. Um, so just to give you a brief understanding on exactly you know, the products that we, 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 in collaboration with CBI Electric, what we're talking about, I was talking about the CBI Electric Smart Controller. So this is exactly how it looks like. This is perfect for your lights, your geezer, and also um, your pool pump if you have that. This goes directly to your distribution box. So this is how exactly how it looks like. That's exactly how it looks like. And also, this is the CBI Electric Smart Isolator. So this is how an isolator looks like. So you know, I know you probably know a normal isolator, but this is a smart one. You don't have to be getting up every single morning to switch off and switch on your geezer. This is a perfect integration to your household. And the amazing part is that this is not expensive and this is good value for money. And this is a product that works. I've personally been using it for over two years now. And this is the CBI Electric Smart Plug. This is one of my favorite ones because you're able to, to play around with this. You're able to do a lot of integration with it. And in the next coming week, we will be discussing this. So this is a perfect integration in your everyday life. You can either go hardcore or you can um, be like me and do it. When, you get, when I get cash, I always buy a plug. That's what I do. I always buy a plug and plug it in. So that's how exactly how I do it. Um, I think we are fully done. Um, and then if you have any questions, I've opened up my DMs uh, because we're about to wrap up. We're running short of time now. We're about to wrap up. If you have any questions, and for those who just recently joined us, please send me a direct message and then I'll be able to address it. If I'm not able to address it, the team from CBI Electric will be able to help you as well. Uh, Dr. Andrew, I appreciate your time and thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us. We really appreciate it. Ndi, absolute pleasure. It's been great to be here with you and uh, everyone who's listening in. I look forward oh, to our next Thank you very much. Listen. Thank you so much. And everyone, please remember to join um, the giveaway. It's an amazing giveaway. Um, and I thank you so much and have a good evening, everyone. Bye. Cheers. Bye.